Good morning. It's Thursday. Today's October 29. There's a scripture in Isaiah 12 and verse 3 that says, With joy you draw water out of the wells of salvation. I'm going to read that again, but I'm going to add verse 1 and verse 2. So it's chapter 12, 1, 2, and 3. You will say in that day, I will give thanks to you, O Lord, for though you were angry with me, your anger turned away, that you might comfort me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. With joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Now that verse, it's a beautiful verse, is in the middle of a psalm of praise that Isaiah gives for God's deliverance of his people. In that day, verse 4 says, the coming day, referring to the coming day when the Lord will return to the earth and he will reign, verse 6 says, in the midst of you. So until that day comes, we have uh, spiritual blessings right now. God has given to us blessings right now. Now the word wells, with joy you'll draw water from the wells of salvation, is more often translated fountains indicating flowing springs of water that never run dry. The first time that word is used in the Bible is in Genesis chapter 7 and verse 11 at the time of the great flood, when all the fountains of the great deep were broken up, Scripture says. On that day, the, the, the fountains provided by God from before the flood for the perpetual supply of, of water to the earth were, as, as Genesis described, very good. The world that he created was very good. And they were opened up, and the waters um, flooded the earth, and all that was in the dry land died, 722 of Genesis says. But one day, another fountain was broken open. When Jesus died on the cross, a spear pierced his side, John 19, 34, and out came blood and water mixed. Now, earlier in John, in chapter 7, at the great feast of tabernacles, Jesus had cried out, If any man thirst, let him come to me and drink. He that believes on me, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So, on the cross, when he was pierced, by the by the spear and the wound was opened up out of that wound flowed the blood and the water from from this fountain of the savior's side and the cleansing power of that fountain became a fountain of life to all who would receive and the the waters again became living waters from a fountain that never that will never run dry in Revelation 22, there's a pure river of water of life proceeding from the throne of God and from the Lamb. So the, the waters will again become life. Now, I'm so thankful we, we have the rivers of living water, the eternal joy that we share with each other, and we, and we drink for forever from these wells of salvation. The Lord has provided for us. He saved us. There was a, a time, as Isaiah said, when the Lord was angry with his people because of their disobedience, but he has turned his anger away and he saved us. We can trust him. We're not afraid. He's our strength and he's our song and he is our salvation. I'm glad for that. I'm glad that today you and I can draw waters from the wells of salvation. And in that day, we'll say praise the Lord. Amen. That's God's word for today, Thursday, October 29. Let's take a moment and pray. Father, I pray this scripture would be real to your people, that we would have joy as we draw water out of the wells, out of the fountains of salvation. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for delivering us. Thank you for the hope and the promise that we have of one day standing by that river of life that flows from the throne of God. We're grateful for the living water that flowed from the side of Christ that day and gives us hope in the future because of his shed blood and the washing of our sins. We're thankful for that. We bless you for that. Lord, I pray for your people to that you would continue to give strength and health and healing. 
Lord, touch those in our family that need uh, the healing touch of your hand. Lord, provide for your people. Bless your people. I pray, Lord, we'd always be aware of your presence in our lives and your hand upon us. Help us to remember you promised, Lord, you'd never leave us. You'd never forsake us. We can trust you. We pray this, Lord, and we thank you in the name of your son. Amen. Praise the Lord. To, today's Thursday. We'll be with you one more day tomorrow. And then Friday, then uh, Sunday, we'll be together in the Lord's house. We'll share the Lord's Supper on Sunday. We have the self-contained cups with the juice and the foil and then the, the bread on top with the piece of cellophane over it. You've done that. You know how to do that. So just pick up one of those when you come into the sanctuary and we'll share together at some point during our worship service. We look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Have a great weekend. I trust uh, you'll turn your clocks back Saturday night and uh, we get that extra hour. It's always a blessing. And uh, we'll see you Sunday. God bless you.